Ty with Ty the Dog Guy on the Daily. I'm just sitting here at home in my uh, bedroom doing some work, looking out at the rain out there, and trying to get up the nerve to go out and take my dog on a walk in this awful rain. I hope the weather's better where you are, <laughs> wherever you are in the United States, although it seems like it's been pretty awful for a lot of folks this winter. Um, anyways, I thought that while I was here, I would uh, do some, some podcast slash vlogs here. Um, and one that comes to mind, uh, primarily because I'm just emailing back and forth with someone who's, who's interested in, in maybe using our services, but one that comes to mind is that your dog's friends need to be chosen, not happened upon. Not accidental. Your dog's friends need to be chosen, not something that just happens accidentally. So what do I mean by that? You know, how do most dogs get friends accidentally? Well, it happens at the dog park, it happens on a trail, it happens in the neighborhood where people and their dogs happen to be, and so as a result, the dogs simply happen to be together too. Now, this can work fine. In fact, I'm sure it works fine a lot, maybe even the majority of the time. But oftentimes, when you're putting dogs together um, without any thought for personality or character or, or different traits that they have, um, they're thinking about those traits. And so, you know, here this guy with his super dominant, you know, rough dog might not be thinking, oh, you know, this dog, is, you know, pairs better with dogs that are calm, pairs better, you know, he's not thinking that. He's thinking, oh, you know, my dog's dominant, I want him to play with other dogs and learn how to play better. Um, and so, you know, he matches that dog with your dog who's maybe like overly, you know, boisterous and now you've got a dog fight on your hands or things like that. Um, and so you choose your friends, your friends, based on character, based on personality. It's not that every single person that you meet is going to be a good match for you to play with. And when I say play, you know, that might be literally play, go out and play basketball or go, you know, play games, game night with couples or 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 socialize or whatever, not every person you run across is going to be your friend. That would be almost impossible. Some Even the most friendly people in the world aren't going to gel with everybody. And so why would we expect that from our dogs? Why would we take them to a dog park and say, here, here's all of your friends? Because think about it. In, in what's kind of worst case scenario when you're at a cocktail party, when you're at a restaurant, when you're at a place where you're going to be socializing with other people? If you don't gel with somebody, you can calmly walk away. Um, and that's that happens a lot. Or you can phase them out, or you can ignore them, or you can, there's a hundred things that you can do that millions of people all over the world do every day when they find themselves around somebody that they don't like or somebody that makes them uncomfortable or, or whatever without resorting to violence. But guess what, folks? When you're attempting to socialize your dog with other dogs, you're putting him out there with creatures that are carrying around knives in their mouths. You know, imagine if you go to that cocktail party now and you go to a cocktail party where a certain percentage of the people are mentally highly unstable and are walking around with knives. I know that sounds like, like as I was saying that, I'm like, ooh, that's kind of a party. I, I might want to just, I, I might want to see video of that party. I don't think I want to go. But imagine that party. Imagine that party of 100 people. You know, everyone's got knives, every last one of them. Um, and 10 of them are psychopaths. <laughs> you know, um, that's a dog park. That's like, that is absolutely a dog park. Um, you know, you've got all these dogs, and some of them are great, you know, super friendly. Other of them are timid, you know, and not a good place for them anyways, but they're not doing anything wrong. Others of them are this or that or the other, but some of them are just nuts, you know. And maybe they're nuts because of genetics, or maybe they're nuts because no one gave them any sort of training or, or structure or anything. But they're out of their mind nuts. And so here <coughs> we've got these, um, you know, the, these creatures that are out of their minds, and they're carrying around deadly weapons in the form of their teeth. That they're, you know, usually a lot quicker on the draw than anyone that might be carrying around a knife would be. So, why would we think that we can socialize the same way? There's certain things that are similar about dogs and people when it comes to socialization. You know, when it comes to dogs and people, we're similar in that, um, you know, there's different personalities and sometimes we gel with others and things like that. But we're very different in that if things turn sour, you know, very quickly, dogs are, are willing to go to something very base, something very instinctual, um, and use their teeth to defend themselves or to, to do what, what have you. And so you've got to be very, very careful when choosing your dog's friends. And you need to be the one doing the choosing. 
You need to watch body language. You need to train your dog. You need to search out other people that are um, that care about training their dogs and care about their dog's behavior. And when you're at the lake and it's summertime and you're hanging out with dogs and dogs are running around everywhere, you're not just letting your dog go play with everybody. And w when you're walking by the dog park, you don't go in. And you know it's it's situations like these where we don't give any care um, and we just simply let dogs mingle that often end poorly. The majority of the dog aggression that we see started at the dog park. You know, the dog started getting bullied or freaked out or nervous or attacked at the dog park and it led to lots of other, lots and lots and lots of other bad behavior. So don't let that be your dog. Choose your dog's friends wisely.